Oh, welcome back to Shadows of Kepler, the demo. We can never left off of uh, trying to survive in this gruesome, brutal world of aliens trying to eat my giblets and uh, having an overpowered goddamn shotgun. I'd almost imagine it'd probably be better for the game uh, to not make you have an OP shotgun so quickly, but it is the demo. I'd say giving you a pistol probably would be good first. Not make you feel like a, a person who can't really be touched unless you fuck up, but... Hey, that's pretty cool. Lockers. But either way, we're going to continue from there and try to beat the demo. However long there is left of the game. Huh. I guess I will take this. I don't like this hallway. Yep. I said I don't like this hallway and I was proven right. Someone constantly swearing. Are you gonna turn? Not to shoot you, put you out of your misery? You're kinda of bolting on the side of your head. You stressing a lot, money? Stressing a lot? Oh. Hey, he is stressing a lot. And also, I meant to say man, but I said many, I think, or something like that. I don't know, let's just call it a speech impediment. Biotech? Okay, who the fuck is swearing constantly over here? Oh, wait, wait, what? Holy Mary, these things are retarded. Did you just call these things retarded? Did did my character my character literally call the thing retarded? I don't want to be demonetized, please. I'll just shoot at his feet like I'm a soldier from TF2. That's that's fine enough, right? Oh, is this cryo chamber, chamber, chamber? Oh, babies. Fantastic. It's taking this turn already. Hmm. That's pretty cool. Yoink. I'll take that. Baby. Fire mode activated. Hmm. Geiger noise? The radioactive noise? Oh. Um, no fear of the shiny. No fear of the shiny. Apparently is an achievement. Interesting. Some kind of special radioactive goddamn zombie. Maybe it's an Easter egg? Seems a little silly, but hopefully I don't die by going in here. Just don't go in that section. Maybe we can go up here, though. Hmm. Yeah. Well, okay. No ammo. Don't kill me, please. I'm mildly curious what's up here. Even though I don't think I'm meant to be up here, but... Nothing. Just blank. 
Well, we got an achievement, so whatever, I guess. And a very strong shiny. Took three shots. Alright, so we came from that way. We can go this way. It says armor, so I am a little invested in that idea. We can't go that way. We went that way. Is this an elevator? Human resources. It has an up air. I'm going to imagine this is an elevator. I don't want to go to a different floor before I finish this floor. So let's go over here. See if we can get ammo or armor or anything. Or or tease me and and or it's just not finished being made. Alright, fine. Elevator. Official website. Shadow Saw. Shadow Soft Kepler.com. Oh, this is literally. Start 2017, campaign 2019, all data available to the public. Shadows of the Kepler demo prototype, morning proceed to evacuation point. A little fourth wall breaking, but I will allow it. Unlike all the other times I've made fun of the uh, indie game who'd be like, use royalty free. Again? That motherfucker. Like, how, how, like, the aliens just, like, they can float in space, they can fly in space, they can swim, they can break in. Where are they coming from, exactly? Oh, is there elevators going up or down? What? 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 Oh. Ah, no, well. Oh. Oh. Well. Oh, oh, there, there goes my legs. <laughs> no! Oh. Where am I? Where am I? Wake up, Cooper. Hey, it's the cutie I saw in the... I see it. Rosalie Chamber, reanimation process complete. It's the person I saw in... There was an achievement on the bottom right, so I saw her face before seeing her right here. Small and cute. Just my type. Okay, is this supposed to be like... Okay, I don't have to... This is a little awkward. A little too personal for me. The demo ends with a very... Uh, with sexual tension, I guess. Space to open official website, R to main menu. Ah, space, sure. Show me the main... Show me this, this official site. I'm a little curious. Oh, what? 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 Oh, a built-in user face. Shadows of Kepler. Pre-order or support on Kickstarter. October 17th to the 21st of November? What, of next year? What year? Play demo for PC, Kickstarter campaign. Oh, the Kickstarter campaign. Developed by Infinity Hall, a group of artists very passionate for the sci-fi universe and the horror genre, Shadows of Kepler brings you to the best of the first-person shooter genre with charismatic characters. I mean, you're going to have to really work on that part. Uh, like I said, if the game turned into a polish at the level of Mass Effect, that'd be epic as fuck. Like, horror plus sci-fi with Mass Effect polish. That'd be epic as fuck, but hard to imagine if you're a small team with very minimal resources, and I understand that. Um, embrace our main... I don't want to embrace the main character, uh, character, Cooper, and try to survive in this new era, the era of Shadows of Kepler. We start a Kickstarter campaign to raise the amount of money to finish the game, and you have several options to help us out. Check the link. Meet the team about the game. Uh, the media... Like, the monsters are really cool. I think I became a little too overpowered too quickly, though. I mean, uh, if, like, take my suggestion. Go to the Steam Store page, type in Shadows of Kepler, or the link in the description below in the description. Just remember, you there are, there are links in the description. Not a lot of people hit the down arrow to check out what's the full detail of YouTube video's description. Not a lot of people look. 
but there's a link in the description. Uh, you can check the trailers that show the death montage of what some creatures they've made that are pretty fucking big and pretty well detailed, but again, I think they are not gameplay based trailers, but concept, uh, sort of the concept, I, I can't remember what it's called, it's not CGI, or maybe it is CGI, but it's just, it's like sort of a super polished video showing what they'd want to achieve, and it's super smooth and polished as to what you hope the game will fully become. Um, otherwise, oh, the creatures are kind of cool. All of them basically can eat you and, and kill you in a hit, or just, just completely destroy you, or stab you, impale you, dismember you. It's fantastic. All you fucking weirdos who are into Vork or Gork can, uh, can, I guess, be enthralled about it. Either way, I will check, what is it, the Kickstarter. I'm kind of curious how much they are wanting. Alright, Kickstarter-wise... Wait, it's in Canadian? Or is that auto-adjusted? They're asking 234,000 Canadian. You're asking for a quarter of a million? That is... Oh, it's converted into euros. It's 140,000 euros. That's, that's, that's expecting a lot, in my opinion. But that isn't to say that there isn't uh, a definite polish in the game demo. Uh, I'm not sure what I can say. I'm like, I feel like I'm just rambling in a tired, drunken slur. But, mm, what is my point, basically? L let me try to think of this. Um, I don't think it's going to meet their goal. I'm not sure if the developers made the Kickstarter expecting to ever be fully funded. They've worked two years in their free time to make this a 30-minute playable demo. It's a sci-fi horror title, a survival horror game. It'd be something I'd be pretty into, honestly, but, again, it needs a lot of polish. If it took two years to do this much, and to have the money, it isn't the money that is the trouble, as much as it is... You'd need a publisher, you'd need money and staff. It's just... I'm not even... I'm not a game developer, I'm not going to pretend to know, but it's just... I guess maybe I just am putting too much expectations and being like, I would love for it to be Mass Effect polish, levels of polish. Not Mass Effect Andromeda, we're not bringing that up, but Mass Effect 2 and 3 kind of levels of polish. So it's very hard to see it that way. It's, hmm. Maybe that's a fatal flaw in my perception, me wanting it to be that polished. But, I don't know, if a game such as this could ever become as polished, that'd be sick as fuck. As for a indie horror game by a team or staff that may not grow huge in size, who knows? Well, maybe the maybe these indie developers will grow and become a bigger studio if they're successful. However, I don't think they'll reach the two hundred thirty-four thousand or quarter of a million Canadian dollars to fund the game. So I'm not sure what they're going to do if they don't even reach ten percent of the goal. It's hard because it's it's very hard to. Garner interest for a game that is this scope and depth. I don't know. It's it's sort of depressing to think about because I don't have uh, a lot of optimism for the Kickstarter, but I have a lot of faith in the developer's passion for the game. But those two don't really correlate. It's you have to have passion. It's a very difficult process. I'm just rambling at this point. I don't know. I watch the developer as well, honestly. Um, I hope the game gets really polished. I don't know. It's really, it's really difficult. I'm trying to convey my thoughts. I'm trying to be genuine here. It's very difficult to really convey my thoughts into words. So I'm sorry if I'm just like sort of rambling in a very weird way. I don't know. I just I I would like the game to do well, but it's hard to see it. Not because it lacks anything besides polish, but I don't know. It'd be awesome if it's like you could uh, go to some publisher and present this game to them and the publisher shows interest. Like, try going to DE, Digital Extremes. Maybe they'd be interested in publishing a game. I don't fucking know, man. But if you can get a publisher and help it so they can help you, I think that'd maybe be better than Kickstarter. 
I don't know. Like, maybe you'll have to sacrifice the IP. Maybe you'll have to give it to the publisher. Maybe they'll take rights to it. But if you get this game and rocket it into a highly polished state and give yourself a name, I'd say it's probably something you could should try to do. Who knows? But either way, I hope you enjoyed this game and I don't know, looked forward to the future of this game. If you did enjoy this gameplay, please leave a like, comment, hit that subscribe button, become a full subscriber. And don't forget, hit that bell notification down below for updates on my videos. Thank you for watching. Until the next time. Mm -hmm.